to practice social distancing. Many people are limiting their trips to the grocery store. Lisa Washington tells us growing your own fruits and veggies not only reduces trips to the store, but it provides another way to keep busy while staying at home. Jody Schwarzwelder and David Falcioni were looking for a way to grow their own vegetables and herbs inside their condo. I thought it was great because you're um, ensuring that you're going to have fresh uh, herbs and things like that for cooking, you know, right in your kitchen. They purchased an arrow grower, which the two say is like a garden in a box. All of the plants are in here. We have some that are actually sprouting. Um, but yes, yeah, each one we have mint, dill, parsley, thyme, and basil. And um, they each take like 8 to 21 days to fully sprout. It requires little maintenance. Pit Moss is a local company that uses recycled materials for a potting mix. It can be used for planting veggies in your backyard or in a hanging basket without the messiness of dirt. Mainly like paper, uh, cardboard, things like that. And it really works way, way better than traditional potting soil, which is made out of peat moss and uh, is actually harmful to the environment because there's so many carbon emissions related to peat mining. CEO Brian Scott says during the coronavirus pandemic, pit moss is including free lettuce, tomato and carrot seeds so customers can grow their own veggies like in past generations. The idea for us spun from the victory gardens that happened during World War II, where okay. people were asked to grow food at home so that we could ship food for the war effort. That our thought was, well, we could offer our product and give away free seeds so that it would A, give people um, things to do at home. They could garden, grow their own food, not need to go to the store quite as often. Lisa Washington, KDKA News.